Hey people, it's Kelly of Print Pray Slay and I am here because I have my winter prayer journal. So this is a prayer journal that I released last winter and I don't believe I did a flip through of what I did. I did not finish my journal, um, sadly, because things just happen. Um, but my winter prayer journal, it starts like mid December and I'm supposed to end in like February. And that's when I kind of got into this one, but things happened. And then of course we know things happen like March, the world changed. <laughs> um, so I never really got a chance and I just was like, Oh, you know, winter will come again, you know, God willing. And that's when I'll dive into it. So that is the plan. Um, what are you doing here? <laughs> so that is the plan so that this is what I'm going to be I'm going to flip through to show you what I have done and the pages that I anticipate on filling in around this time now um so let's see I actually have not flipped through it myself to do it first so wow okay so I love this cover this cover is a little no a lot different than the other ones um in the sense of not having like a big floral I'm filling the bells so I like it in the little gold shimmeries. Why did I do this? Like it's really going to shimmer because that's what it looks like. Even though it's a printable, it really does in like real life look like it is going to shimmer, but it doesn't. All right. So why do I feel like I did something here, but it didn't happen? This is really blank and bothering me. I will do something grand here. Okay. So that's something I'm going to do. Um, then it says, Hey people, and I have my message. Um, I really like that this isn't just the art, it's got the, do you see the music in there? Because, you know, it's a, a time of singing, you know, people sing their carols and all of that. This is a Bible journaling page, um, centered around the birth of Jesus. So it's like, I used to do these pages in my prayer journal because I didn't feel comfortable with the Bible, like inking it up. Um, which I have no problem with cause I actually do have a Bible with a whole ton of ink in it. Um, but I kind of was like hesitant. It was like holding me back from what I wanted to do. So I was like, I'm going to include this and bring it back to like how I used to start journaling. Um, so this is for that. This is like a Bible first and then you got the column here, like a Bible. And then you got this, it's like a, it's like a interleaved Bible. Like, look at this, like I just made it. So, um, filling this part out. Didn't do that. So to come, this is what I thought was in the front. So this is not in the front. This is just a page that I had like a spread. So this was blank and these papers come with it. So I ripped them. Um, the donation papers come with it. I mean, donation. <laughs> it says donations. Um, we didn't donate anything this year, did we? I don't think so. No, we didn't donate anything this year. Um, we did for summer. But we didn't for like winter. We donate all the time because our kids constantly grow out of stuff. And yeah, so I have to do, you know, we have to give it away. <laughs> so um, I already filled out that page. So I'm, I'm cool with that. A joy list, a wet sparks joy. This page is important to me. I love me some joy. So I'll be filling this part out. I'm probably going to, uh, this is printed on um, not clear paper. I think it's best on clear. This actually comes printed on the paper. I'm going to probably print that on clear. I'm going to see how I do with it, with like it not being on clear paper, but, um, that's in there. Cause I want it to go here. <laughs> so I have this whole spread to fill out. I did do this one. This was printed. Um, the pages come with this on it, this border. And I added the girl and the lollipop and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm filling this page. I'm good with this page. Um, uh, actually there's no space for me to add anything anyway. So this is January. Does this one I stopped in January? This is the page that I wanted my family to journal on. Um, they came to our house for Christmas. And this was the last Christmas I spent with my family. That sounds so sad to say. Oh my goodness. But again, you know, because of the coronavirus and everybody quarantining and staying with their own, you know, their, their immediate family. Um, I wasn't able to like get with my family this year it's my dad's birthday y'all i mean it was really fun we did like the little drive-by honk honk and we played rebirth and everything it was really really fun he said it was the best birthday he ever had so you're just gonna forget all those other birthdays we planned but it's okay 
<laughs> it's the best birthday he could have hoped for in 2020 because we all know it was just all whack. So um, my idea was to have them journal on here. Um, but what I'm thinking is because um, <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw the other video <laughs> where my family wrote in my autumn prayer journal, I'm not feeling their handwriting. <laughs> I mean, mine is not the best, but I'm just really not feeling their handwriting. So for them to come on here and just start writing in it like it's somebody's yearbook is going to make me feel some kind of way. So what I think I'm going to do is get them journal cards and let them journal on the journal cards. Then I'm going to jazz up said journal cards and then I'm going to stick them in here. That is the plan. I just came up with that just now. Just dwelling on the fact that if somebody come in here and spell something incorrectly and then start scratching, like even if I don't spell something right in my journal, I keeps it moving. I'm not about to have a scratch mark in my journal. So that's just how I feel. I'm going to misspell it and I'm going to keep going because I know what I meant to say. And I'm going to laugh at the fact that the word thing has like three eyes in it. <laughs> and I just didn't want to scratch it out. So that's the plan for this page. Um, how I'm going to get those journal calls to them and get it back is probably just going to be like a Christmas 2021. God willing, we have a Christmas <laughs> with family this year. Then I can fill this up. I don't know. If not, I mean, it's going to remain blank as a reminder that I really want my family to write in this journal. So that's where that's 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 the purpose of this page for me. And I'm I'm not gonna get by like that. I want to I have I can do this now. I really can't because we spent a ton of time watching Christmas movies this year. We watched Home Alone one and two. And you can just put those numbers together twelve times. <laughs> um, I let's settle this now. I love Home Alone two the most. I think that Home Alone 1 is awesome. You know, it's the first one. Of course it's good. But the second one, oh my goodness. I just think it's hilarious. So um, that's definitely going to make it. So I'm, I'm basically going to print out the um, the movie covers. And I'm going to paste them here. So I can do that definitely soon. I should have thought about that. Like, we, I mean, Christmas just passed. Like, like a couple days ago. Just passed. So I could have I could have did that while I was on break. Since I am now a teacher and I get a break. Thankful. And we didn't listen to many songs. I definitely listened to mine because I like, um, did I just mess up the word listen? Well, I like the whispers. So that Christmas song is my favorite. You know, we listened to some Mariah Carey, some TLC, some Destiny Child, some um, Whitney Houston. So there are some Christmas songs in, in there. Um, so I'll print the same thing, the little covers, so that I can have like a picture of the artist and whatnot. So Christmas songs here, movies here. We Another Christmas movie that was new for us this year was Die Hard. Not new, but like, I don't remember ever seeing that movie, but I love me some Bruce Willis. So <laughs> it had nothing to really do with Christmas, but it was set in Christmas. So I declared it a Christmas movie. There we go. Um, gifts. This was other year's gifts. This year, just all scratched out. Nothing. I mean, well, actually, the, of course the kids got something. My husband, I didn't get him anything. And for me, I think this is the standing thing. This is just what we're going to continue to do because it's kind of what we've always done as far as him giving me something. I always ask my husband for, um, oh, see, it says this right here, as usual, a letter from Reese. <laughs> um, and I asked for some slipper boots, which I wish I had on my feet right now because they were really cold on this floor. Um, but yeah, I always ask my husband for a letter. So he like writes a letter the day before Christmas or the morning of Christmas, it looks like, to be honest. And which is still from the heart. And he kind of sums up our year and how he felt like it went from his point of view. And I really cherish that because, you know, sometimes men don't open up. And I like to hear, like, a letter is one way. So it's not like I influenced some of his words by jumping in the conversation or anything like that. So he just writes his heart out and gives it to his heart, which is me. So I really enjoy that. That was the only gift I got this year. Uh, it did make me a little sad because people actually did get him gifts. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, I know the true meaning of Christmas has nothing to do with us giving gifts to each other. We do that as tradition. Tradition? I'm messing up all of the words today. Um... But it just felt weird. It just felt weird. But um, I quickly got over it because I went and bought me something, bought me some stuff on Amazon. 
Um, but besides that, I did reflect on like, why are you mad, sis? There was no reason to be mad. So, uh, I like how busy this page is. I, do you see it? I like this page. Like, I, it just came with this border. Only the border was on there. And then I put the cute little girl with the little antlers that, um, like in her ugly sweater <laughs> that she wore, like, you know, work. She likes to work, you know, at the, at the Gap or something like that. It's just cute. And a tag here. I should have put a ribbon through this one. Hmm. Didn't think about that. You should do that. I did it somewhere else, probably where this ribbon is sticking out. Oh, right here. And where is this ribbon from? Another tag. Yeah. Maybe I, I played it out. Maybe I did too much. That's already four ribbons I just saw. So maybe that's why it doesn't have one. Um, this is something. Look at this handwriting. This is why I can't really talk about my kids. It looks like one of them did that. <laughs> so they don't get the, maybe they do get the handwriting from me. And I like how it just switches up and it becomes this cool theme. I love it. So another tag. I think it's tipping. Yep. Tip and tag. I didn't write on the actual one, but I wrote on this one. So and I love in the reef. They're in their cool pajamas. I love PJs. I wear PJs all the time. Blank. Still have to do this page. So this is all the way done. Oh, journal about wisdom. Oh, I can do that. And health. Wisdom and health is the only two I didn't journal about. So I'll do that so I can check those off. I didn't put dates. Oh, and about winter. We didn't, I hope, I'm going to pray for snow. That's what I'm going to pray for. I want some, I want me some snow. So um, those three. And then my, I didn't do a journal. I mean, I didn't do a um, bingo this time. So that's going to be different. This page, this page. And I actually did keep the, um, winter cards so this is where the christmas card collection goes here and in the back um and i don't know what happened but the, somebody took the back of my thing and it, it printed like this because i printed this page twice um it is just supposed to be like this one mute color and then for some reason i printed it twice so it made it a little darker right here but this is regular but the back of my cover is missing. Like, it should be the same beautiful. <laughs> like, I do not know where my cover is. Like, who would, who would steal a cover? Like, it's in, it's probably inside of one of my um, happy planners. But I'm really sad. But it's a printable, right? So I can just print it again. And the same thing can go for if um, this winter, if I figure out that, you know, I did this page. I did these two pages. And all the pages that, you know, I haven't done. And then I feel like I want to, you know, fill it in some more. I can just add pages, especially since the end is looking like that. Um, I can just add pages into it. I recommend if you're doing that, then do it before you start. Because I can just add them here. Because I definitely wouldn't want to add pages like on a spread that's already done. Like I, I wouldn't, I would want to keep this like this. So I wouldn't want to add a page and then separate them. Like they love each other. Keep them together. So um, that's the plan. Does it go through and do that? So I have a couple spreads that I can do right now. Um, I'm going to think about whether or not I want to add pages in it, into it. Because I don't know. I don't know yet. But that is, yeah. So this is the journal. I wanted to um, sit here and be real. Like journals, sometimes they don't get completed. And I don't think anything is wrong with that. Like you see how we're back in winter, right? It's still relevant. It's a printable. I could print more. As a matter of fact, if I wanted to, I can just print the whole thing over. Keep the pages that definitely have something on them. Like, this has something on it, so I would keep this spread. Okay. But I can probably maybe do without this one. Like, what would that look like? Okay. It's cool. Like, you can do that because it's a printable. You can add because it's a printable and because it's not bound it's in the happy planner so i don't have to um you know worry about that either so like this page i can straight take this page out and i have to worry about oh i feel like i have to do another page because this one is printed well you know what you can do you ripity rip rip i mean not rip don't rip nothing like just snatch it out <laughs> and yeah let it be i don't think you should stress over journaling it should just be fun um and get your thoughts out get your prayers out communicate with god and everything like that and give your gratitude inside of the journal 
Um, so I just wanted to show people that, you know, my plan and how it was going because it wasn't done. And I wanted to show that, you know, this happens and this is okay. It really, really is. It's okay. I have no shame in the fact that my journal is not done and because it will get done eventually. And if not, like I said, I'm gonna take some pages out <laughs> and give me space for a part of my journal that I am, you know, putting a lot of more energy into, but that is it. This is my winter prayer slay journal. Y'all like how I did that? <laughs> That's how I should stop my entry now. No, y'all gonna get this all the time. All right. Bye. <laughs>